And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, good Friday afternoon, everyone. Thankfully, today, not near as hot as yesterday was. Still getting up to about 94 here in Emerald, which is still above normal, but that weak cold front making a little bit of a difference. For some of you around the areas, you can still see Childress getting up to 102. But let's take a look at your current satellite and radar. Things are pretty quiet here as we head on into our evening hours here for your Friday. So overall, any football games, any evening plans ought to remain mostly unaffected. Now, it is a little bit breezy out there, but that's really about as nasty as it is. Let's look at your overnight lows. 62 here in Amarillo. We'll see 50s up north, high 60s, maybe low 70s off towards the southeast for your Saturday afternoon. We'll top out about 93 degrees, so very similar to what we've seen so far today. But here's the thing. Starting Saturday, that's when things start to change in a pretty exciting way as temperatures looking down, rain chances looking up here as we go into the weekend and beyond. So our current upper level setup, there you got that high pressure system. It's shrinking down a little bit. It's moving off towards the southwest. That's exactly what we want to see happen. If it continues on this track, things start to look pretty good. So as heat starts to move on out of the area, that's going to open up the door for northwest flow. That's going to allow showers and storms to start to fire up in the west and then track their way east as we go into the generally evening and overnight periods and could see some showers linger until the following mornings for several days here going throughout the next seven. Thankfully, it does look like this is going to be starting on Saturday evening. So for the rest of your Friday, as you can see, some showers and storms try to fire up just south of our area. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see much in our region, but you'll see by Saturday night, there you start to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Those kind of work their way east, southeast, maybe fizzling a little bit in the kind of around the midnight hour, but you'll see going into Sunday morning. Look at this. Good cluster of thunderstorms looking to push through the region. Those could linger until about 10 o'clock in the morning. Then we'll see those kind of fizzle out somewhat. And then we see another round of showers and storms start to push this direction going into Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. And like I said, that just sets the trend moving forward. So another check your rainfall forecast. This is something we're keeping a very close eye on. Like I said, it's kind of evolved. It's changed here over the past couple of days, but it's still holding steady that we could be seeing significant rainfall over the course of the next seven days as a whole. Thankfully, it shouldn't all come at once. As you'll see on our seven day supercast here, we're going to break it up over several days. Out of the next seven, six of them have pretty promising rain chances. We'll get a 30% chance going late Saturday into Sunday. We'll go 40, upwards of 50% chances into early next week. Look at our temperatures there as well as we'll see about uh, 93, 90 for your Sunday. 80 by Monday and the mid to low 70s as we go into the middle to late parts of next week. So finally starting to get a little more fall like weather in here and a little bit of moisture is certainly going to go a long ways as well. Make sure to keep it locked here at News Channel 10 as you head into your weekend as we're going to be having the latest on your local forecast.